Okay, we have here an integral. This one's MIT 2017, problem 14. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, square root sine x plus one, and I forgot the dx. Okay, the first thing I notice here is just the similarity between this and what we'll see oftentimes is an integral like sine two x plus one. Because if the integral was this, we have an identity for this. If you just take sine x plus cosine x, and you square it, you get sine squared x plus cosine squared x, but that's just gonna be a one. And then the middle terms are gonna be two sine x cos x. But then with the double angle formula, we could just write this as sine two x. So this right here, this is exactly what we have here, but this isn't our problem, right? I just added that two in there. So what we wanna do is we just wanna adjust this for just the single angle, still using the same formula. So what happens here is if this is just sine x, then everything over here becomes half angles. Because if you multiply this out, sine squared plus cosine squared is still gonna be one regardless what the angle is. The middle terms, these become like this, but this right here is gonna be the same thing as sine of x. So then what I can do is let's just take this right here and we can plug this into the square root, continue from there. And then here now that we have this rewritten, we've got something squared inside the square root. So what we can do is we can kind of cancel the square with the square root, except for when we rewrite it, let's do it with absolute value just to be careful with this. But then the absolute value is not really gonna be a problem because of our bounds. We're looking, we're going from zero to pi over two. So everything, our X value is gonna be all in the first quadrant. So even when we half it, we're gonna still be in the first quadrant, of course. Sine's always going to be positive, cosine's always going to be positive, the whole thing's always positive, so I'm just going to drop absolute value. Go ahead and just integrate this. The integral of sine x over 2 is going to be minus cosine x over 2, but then I need to bring a 2 up front for that 1 half. And then integral of cosine x over 2, that's just going to be sine x over 2, bring a 2 up front, and we just need to evaluate from 0 to pi over 2. Plugging everything in, I think I can factor... Why don't I factor a two out front? Cosine pi over four is gonna be one over square root of two, but I need this minus sign. So we'll write it like this. And same thing for sine, it's the same value. It's gonna be one over square root of two, but that's gonna make all this zero. Now for the second part, evaluating at zero, we're gonna have minus. Then evaluating here, cosine at zero is gonna be just one. We have a minus two, so here we'll just write this as minus two. This other part when we plug in zero is just gonna be a zero, so that's gonna go away. Distribute on the minus sign, minus times minus is a plus. For my final solution to this, we just get two. Okay, there you go. Good one today from MIT 2017. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.